Hey, welcome back to the show. And today I wanna to make a video about what's the minimum setup you need to start in large format. I'm not gonna start with four x five or five by seven, eight by 10. You choose the size, but this is gonna be basically the bare minimum you're gonna to need to start shooting large format. As many of you know, large format is not like 35 or medium format, which pretty much cameras come complete. Large format, you need every little piece and accessories. This is gonna be the minimum I suggest you should start with. First thing is gonna be a camera. You're gonna need a camera that will be a large format camera. It can be, as I said, four by five, five by seven, eight by 10, monorail. Depending on what you need, you'll get a camera. You gotta get something that meets what you're looking for. Don't buy something just because it's cheap. Don't buy something just because it's a luxury brand. Just buy whatever fits your budget and fits your photography. Second thing you're gonna need is gonna be a lens. And uh, I'm not gonna talk about pinhole, I'm gonna talk about lenses on a shutter. So this is a Fuji 180, for example, on a Seiko, I think is uh, number one, like a Copal number one. And this will cover four by five, no problem, five by seven, even eight by 10. And of course, you're gonna need it to be on a compatible lens board. So if you're looking for a large format camera, do make sure you buy something that has an easy lens board to build or to find. Don't get something rare that you're gonna find. It's troublesome to find those lens boards or expensive or anything like that. So check that before. Third thing you're gonna need is a film holder. Of course, film holders come with two sheets of film on each side. So one film holder means two shots. Don't get one only, but you could start with one. So minimum is one film holder, roll film holder, or Polaroid film holder, depending on what you wanna shoot, but I'm not gonna to get too much into that. Then, of course, you're gonna need film. So either color film, slide film, uh, instant film, black and white film, whatever kind of film meets your needs and your budget, go for it. Of course, it has to be of the right size. Then to focus, you're gonna need a loop. You can use a cheap O loop. These are 15 bucks, I'll leave a link below. But you can use, uh, some people use pharmacy glasses, some people use a 50 millimeter. Uh, a normal 35, 50 millimeter, you turn it around, it comes into like a macro lens. So you can use that on your ground glass if you're really on a budget, and that will help you focus, find focus when you're shooting large format. As you might not know, large format has this really small and shallow depth of field, at least wide open. Also, to trigger your shutter, you're gonna need a lens ca uh, cable release, which um, they might look dated for those people that are new to film photography, but this is a must for medium format and large format. 35, if you're hand holding, you don't need it, but if you're using a tripod, you need a cable release. I'll leave a link to a company in Germany that makes these and they're awesome, uh, but you can find them at any local store that's halfly decent in photography. If not, go get them online, Amazon, B&H, any other store like that. You can find them, they're cheap. Then, of course, to meter your scene, you're gonna need a light meter. So you could go with the Sunny 16 rule and just go out and meter, or get a cheapo light meter. This one's around 100 bucks secondhand. You can get light meters on your iPhone or your Android phone, any kind of smartphone. There's free apps that work pretty well. So that's a must, but just in case, I get a proper light meter. Of course, you can't forget about support, so you're gonna need a tripod. As I said, large format needs focusing, fine focusing, you're gonna need a loop to check that out. You need your camera to be st stable and you know sturdy. If you're gonna go for something, go for a three-way head. These heads are extremely cheap nowadays because most people are moving to ball heads and stuff like that, which for large format, I find is extremely annoying. So get a cheapo tripod. You can get a three-way head, which are cheap, and that way you've got pretty much everything. And last but not least would be your focusing hood. So this can be used by, you know, this is a proper hood. You can get uh, a jacket, a sweater. Uh, people use the towels, like a beach towel, those thin ones that are like packable. Um, you can use something to make it shady uh, on the back so you can see that dark uh, ground glass when you're out in the sun, that's important. So yeah, this is basically the most basic large format setup you could get. Of course, as I said, you can go for four by five, five by seven, eight by 10, whatever size you want, but this will be what you need. Of course, there's other iterations. Uh, it doesn't have to be just like I showed you, but these are things that will help you a lot when you start. Um, try not to cut corners at the beginning. Um, try to just get something that will work and it's not too bad. 
As always, you can ask me any questions on gear you're thinking about purchasing. I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.